The calendar may read February, but it feels a whole lot like March because tonight we've got a top 25 showdown between two ACC heavyweights as the third ranked North Carolina State Wolfpack take on the number 20 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. We welcome you courtside inside Purcell Pavilion. I'm Grant Delvecchio alongside the great coach Mike Lightfoot. Coach, what a treat we have tonight. Notre Dame undefeated at home this season, but North Carolina State undefeated on the road. The clash of titans right here tonight. What an exciting game we're going to have with great players, great matchups across the board. These two teams have been very successful this season, but their makeups are vastly different. The Wolfpack, a veteran squad. Yes. Meanwhile, the Fighting Irish have dipped into the fountain of youth. Yeah, when, you're, when you look at Notre Dame, you look at a young, talented team. When you look at North Carolina State, you're looking at a bunch of veteran players. And so it's going to be talent versus experience. It's going to be a great game. The Wolfpack have a lot of key pieces, but none more important than their All-American post player, Elisa Kinane. While you watch her play and you really appreciate her inside game, the things she can do, but she also can step out and knock in perimeter shots as well. You put that combination together, boy, that makes it really tough for the Irish to defend. Meanwhile, for Notre Dame, freshman point guard Olivia Miles is having a season to remember. Probably one of the best point guards in the country as a freshman. And when you look at it, maybe one of the best point guards the Irish have had for a long, long time. Last time out for Notre Dame, Olivia Miles scored 30 points and had six assists. She's just the fourth player in program history to score 30 or more points and have five or more assists. Yeah, in the put game. your seat belts on, fans. This is going to be a great, great atmosphere. Great game. What a matchup we have tonight. Moments away from tip off, our referees tonight. Joseph Vasily, Carla Fountain, and Rod Creech, and we are underway here in South Bend. Notre Dame in their home white jerseys. North Carolina State comes out in man-to-man. -man. Strong man-to-man. -man. Pressure, fighting through screens. Pull-up jumper for Westveld off the mark. Rebounded by Reina Perez. Take a look at the starting five for the Wolfpack. Perez with a pull-up jumper, no good. All five starters for North Carolina State returners from a season ago. And they can all shoot the ball. Miles for three, rims out. What Perez a great the combination. The other way. What a great combination of people that can score on the perimeter and then have a post player. That is really difficult. The Irish are coming out playing man-to-man. -man. Perez. Kayla Jones, strong pump fake by Kai Crutchfield. The pull up just rims out. North Carolina State has won 18 straight games That's against a, ACC yeah. opponents. When you look at the ACC, Grant, you're looking at some of the best teams in college basketball and to run that, run that title. Wow, that's amazing to be able to run 18 straight. Wolfpack are 10 and 0 in conference play this season. That ties a program record. Here's Jakia Brown Turner, the junior, working on the freshman Citron Crutchfield, open for three and buries it. Great penetration, great drive, great rotation over to a spot, wide open three. There's a great example of what they're going to do on the perimeter. Crutchfield coming off of a 16-point performance against the Tar Heels on Sunday. Turner working on Citron. Floater off the glass, no good. Kinane fighting for the rebound. Possession awarded to Notre Dame. Yeah, great decision there. Let the ball go. Ball went out of bounds. Irish basketball. Miles coming off the screen from Dotson. Nothing doing. Off to fellow freshman Sonia Citron, and Citron's jumper is true. 
Yeah, great movement offensively by the Irish there. They didn't panic, they didn't rush. They got in their offensive set and got a great, great look. Crushfield open for three and drills it again. Just a great release on that shot. She has got to make sure that uh, you know she gets that release point and knock it in. That's exactly what she did there on that look. The Irish going to have to find a way to get out on the three-point shooters. Crushfield shooting 47% from beyond the arc this season. She's two for two tonight. Now Miles tries from deep. Money. You know, those are the things that she was not doing, doing earlier in the year. Now she's put that in her toolbox. That makes it so, so difficult to guard her now because she's such a good penetrate and kick player. Crushfield working in the post. Dishes it to Kinane, stolen away by Miles. Now Miles in transition the other way. Great decision. Pulls it back out. Yes. Miles was open from three for the moment, but got a little bit of happy feet. Yes, a little quick on the feet there. You know, uh, she made a great decision, though, to pull the ball out. And that's the thing that the Irish staff are trying to work with this young freshman. Getting better in a half-court set. Take a look at the North Carolina State head coach, Wes Moore, in his ninth season with the program. They've had six oh. straight 20-win seasons, coach, oh. and they've made it to three straight Sweet 16s. And you look at, he's been successful. National Tournament, D3. National Tournament, D2. National Tournament, D1. The only coach in history to take Three teams to the NCAA tournament at the D1, Division II, and Division III level. Now Kayla Jones open for three. Can't hit. And Notre Dame did a great bounce. job switching back into their 2-3 matchup. Did a great job getting into their spots and contesting the three-point shot. As you take a look at head coach Neil Ivey for oh. Notre Dame in her second season. And what a turnaround it's been from year one, last season, Notre Dame 10 and 10 on the year. This year, 16 and four, seven and two thus far in conference. Tremendous job bringing this team together. They play well together, got great, great chemistry. West Bell, top of the key, drives into the paint, lays it in, plus the foul. For her to be able to attack that way, and then pull up and use that left hand. As you watch this, where she goes to her left side here, her weak side, and gets bumped, and then still has the strength to get up on the glass. What a tremendous move. Westfeld was 0 for 7 from the field in Notre Dame's most recent game against Boston College, but already off to a quick start tonight, and connects on the three-point play. 2-3 matchup here by Notre Dame, trying to really double down as much as they can on the post. Brown Turner has it taken away by Miles. Olivia Miles dishes it to Dara Mabry. Mabry for three. Just short. Perez with it the other way. Looks down low for Kayla Jones. Back out to Crutchfield, her three. Rebound by Citron. Miles to Citron in transition, all the way to the hoop. Rebound, Dotson. Wow. The easy lay yes. for two. And she's been so consistent for the Irish to go into those offensive boards hard. You can see her that Notre Dame really wants to push the ball and run the floor. Jones into the paint on Dotson, up and under. Oh, Pretty move wow. by Kayla Jones. Use the rim to protect her from getting the ball blocked and then just a great extension and great finish inside. Matchup is everything we'd hoped for thus far. Five plus minutes in. Notre Dame with a two point lead. Now Kayla Jones running with it in transition to Brown Turner. Misses the layup but is fouled on the attempt. Five and a half minutes into this one. Notre Dame up by two.
Welcome back to South Bend. Notre Dame leading NC State 10 to 8, but Kai Crutchfield off yes. to a hot start. What a release back. point. You know, when you try to double and keep an All-American handling in the post, you got to give up something. And early, the Irish have been able to get uh, a great double, but they have not been able to find Crutchfield. Jakia Brown-Turner at the line, misses the first. Crutchfield averaging a little over six points per game on the season already uh -huh. with a quick six yes. in his first quarter. Talking to the Notre Dame, their scouting report just shows you they have so many different weapons from that three-point line. As Brown Turner 12 connects yeah. on the second foul shot. Yeah, 12 different people hit threes for them this year. That's a lot. Checking into the game for the Wolfpack is Diamond Johnson, the sophomore guard out of Philadelphia. And Coach Westmore <laughs> says she's not a spark off the bench, but a bonfire. Absolutely. Brunel for three. Splash down. Yes. Great set coming out of that situation. Great half court set. Great look. Great release. Everything is perfect, just like the coach wants. Dishes it back to Johnson. Now inside to Camille Hobby. Hobby working on Brunel. Little floater off the mark. Notre Dame's half court defense has been very, very good, other than the threes. Miles into the paint, kicks it back out for Brunel. Westbell for three. Rebound Johnson. Kayla Jones, strong drive into the paint, lays it in, count it, Just, and one. There is strength there by attacking and then going right to the rim, right through the defender, right to the basket. Look at this, right to the rim, getting the baseline. You don't want to give up baseline. Had no other choice but to foul or let her score. Jones can't convert on the three-point play. I don't know if everybody at home has been able to watch, but this pace has been incredible up and down. Brunel off the mark on her second three-point attempt. Back comes Jones all the way to the rim. Denied by Notre Dame. Miles looking for Westfeld inside. Strong defense by Jones. And now Mabry with it at the top of the key. Struggling getting in a half court set here for the Irish. Avery pulls up for three. Can't hit. Was not a very good half court look by the Irish. That's the first time in this game where they've struggled in a half court. Johnson nearly threw it out of bounds. Crutchfield saved it. Now Jones looks inside for Hobby. Hobby working on Brunel. Brunel stuffs her. Miles back the other way. Yeah, this has been a up and down race. You know, both teams have said, we want to get out and push the ball up and down the floor. As a coach, you're saying, hey, these teams are very good in a half court. So how can we score easily? You've got to beat them in transition. Into the game for North Carolina State is Jada Boyd, number five, last year's ACC <laughs> co-sixth player of the year. Pull up for Miles, no good. Here is Boyd, working out Brunel. Strong move yes. and the finish. Really good combination of pivoting but not losing her balance. Getting a great release and knocking in a, a post shot. We're all tied up at 13. Nice feed from Brunel to Dotson inside. Brunel has come in and knocked down a shot, playing great defense, and then a great pass inside. Back inside for Boyd, short jumper. No good, Anea Peoples back the other way. Nice. Peoples inside to Dotson, baby hook oh, is God. good. Great pass inside. You know, a great pass creates just a great situation for a post player. 
That's what I have to do is catch it and finish. That was a great, great entry pass to the post. Matchup zone here. Back-to-back -back buckets for Maya Dotson after a two-and-a-half-minute scoring drought for the Irish. Diamond Johnson, leaning jumper, no good. Under a minute remaining in this first quarter, and we've seen it all. Miles' goggles yeah. are off of her face. She's still oh, bringing it up. They bring it up. Now she's got it back. Miles off the Dotson screen, gets bumped. No call. Perez back the other way. Oh, wow, great pass. Dishes it back to Javi. Great deflection by Dotson, and Miles picks it up. One shot I would think the coaching staff wants to look for here. Both teams are playing extremely, extremely hard. Brunel for three. Too strong. Two seconds to go in the quarter. That shot did not get off. After one quarter of play, Notre Dame up 17 to 13, and Maya Dotson has been a force inside. Second quarter action coming up in just a moment. Moments away from second quarter action here in South Bend, but in the first quarter, it was all Maya Dotson. Yes, being able to do so many things. Offensive rebound, great catch, great finishing inside, being able to really seal inside using that left hand. She has been a difference maker for Notre Dame. Really all season, Dotson has been the different maker and took advantage of Elisa Kunane being on the bench for that stretch. Kunane back in the game for the Wolfpack to start this second quarter. Meanwhile, Jada Boyd with a strong take to the rim, couldn't finish, and now the Irish come back with it the other way. Great look. Citron, pull up jumper, short rebound, Peoples lays it in for two. And if I played, I would say I was passing it. It did look like a shot, but I would say that was a great pass. I think Citron would say the same as well. Johnson, deep two, rebounded by Citron. Notre Dame outscoring North Carolina State 10 to four in the paint thus far. Notre Dame has come out with this youth and have matched it toe for toe and have played extremely solid to start this ball game. Dotson was trying to work the left hand. Good defense by Kunane, though. And now Kunane gets Dotson up on the pump fake, drives to the rim, off the mark on the layup. Westbell, kick out to Citron for three. Short rebound, Dotson, and wow. the finish. What a start to this game for Maya Dotson, Absolutely. and Wes Moore wants to talk things over with the Wolfpack. It is loud in here right now. The Irish have jumped out to an eight point lead in the second quarter. Coach, we've talked about the transformation from last season to this season for Notre Dame. These yeah. three newcomers yeah. have a lot to do with that. Absolutely. When you look at the three and their production, what they've accomplished, all the pieces of the puzzle for the Irish women have come together, and uh, it's pretty special for sure. Dotson, a grad transfer from Stanford. Citron and Miles, both freshmen who recently sweep the ACC Awards Week. Miles taking home ACC Player of the Week. Citron taking home ACC Freshman of the Week. Been really, really impressed with these freshmen. They don't play like freshmen. Mabry feed inside for Dotson. Pretty spin move. Couldn't get it to go off glass, but the ball stays with Notre Dame. Yeah, Coach Westmore was telling me before the game, he said, I've recruited all these young players that went to Notre Dame. He said, but they've all went here. And, uh, wow, he just couldn't talk enough about the talent, young talent here at Notre Dame. 
Peoples, crossover, pull-up jumper. Rebounded by Kinane. Brown Turner driving in on Citron. Nice defense by the freshman. Brown Turner nearly threw it away. Johnson off the Kinane screen, pull up. No good. Kinane fighting for the offensive board, and she secures it. Now Johnson driving through the lane yeah. and flipping it up and in. Really a strong, strong player. Did a great job of breaking down the defense and getting all the way to the basket. Notre Dame's lead is six. Notre Dame needs to continue to execute in the half-court offense. Miles from way downtown. Off the mark and a foul called on Matty Westbelt fighting for the rebound. Taking another look at that yeah. nifty move from Diamond Johnson. The strong take, getting back over Euro step, over using right-handed finish. You know, Notre Dame is very, very good in transition. That's no secret. But how they play in the half-court offense is going to decide if they win this game or not. Brown Turner, she can stroke it from deep oh. and drops it in from long range. The lead for Notre Dame is cut to three. Great team's battle on the road, and you can see that's exactly what the Wolf Pack has done. They have not flinched. They have not been, you know, worried about what they're going to do. They're just going to keep working at it defensively. Miles, kick out to Brunel. One more to Citron from deep. Rebounded by Dotson. Wow. He's everywhere. Miles all the way to the hoop. Can't finish. Johnson, yep. the hesitation, and yep. called for a carry. You don't see that very much, but in the game of basketball, that has become something that a lot of players are doing to get by people, and she used that to step over and then a turnover to, to really try to get by the defender, and that, that's not going to fool the official. Again, can the Irish score in their half-court offense? That's the big question against this great Wolfpack defense. Brunel, pull-up jumper is true. Sam Brunel has been on fire as of late. She's shooting 67% from inside the arc over her last nine games. She's revamped her game here in the last month and got so solid. Oh, pretty move by Kanane inside. Gets it to go, plus the foul. Wow, what a great duck under move. Being able to go to the right, go back to the left. This is an All-American. Watch this, ladies, if you're home. Step under, use that step, pivot, and left hand. Completely faked out Dotson, who is an elite shot blocker. Yeah. Using those fakes, and Kinane, who is an excellent foul shooter, converts on the three-point play. It's just a two-point lead for Notre Dame with five minutes left in this first half. Ball screen's high here for the Irish. Great defense. Miles with one to shoot, step back three. No good, but wow. Dotson again comes up with an offensive rebound. What a huge offensive rebound, giving the Irish another chance to get in their offense. The Irish are just one of their last seven from the field. Miles inside for Brunel. And a foul is going to be called on Diamond Johnson. Yeah, I think so far the Irish need to just be a little bit more patient, execute in their half court offense, make a little bit harder cuts to get open. Because the Wolfpack defense is very, very physical. 
Maya Dotson has three double-doubles in her last five games, already with eight points and mm. six boards in this first half. She just took a break, and Abby Prohaska in off the bench for Notre Dame. Notre Dame going very small lineup here. Elbow jumper for Miles off the mark, but Abby Prohaska fresh off the bench with an offensive rebound and draws a foul. That's her game. That's her game. And again, for those people that don't think they can score very much or, or do a lot of team, but you can go in and you go rebound, you play hard, you get minutes. And that's exactly what she has cut out in the last uh, year, year and a half that she's been healthy. Alaska is a fan favorite oh, here geez. in South Bend. Plays with such energy and heart. Yeah. Drills the first free throw. Coming off of one of her best performances of the season on Sunday against Boston College. Had six points, six rebounds, and two steals. Yeah, she needs to have a W on her jersey. It says Warrior. Because she is a warrior. Every team needs somebody that's going to be a warrior. After knocking down those two free throws, is now nine of ten on the season from the charity strike. Quality minutes off the bench is so important. Brunel, oh deep three. Yes! Whoa! That one brought rain or snow or something. I'm not sure what. Back to the matchup zone. Kayla Jones will try a deep two of her own and bury it. We talked about that at the beginning of the broadcast, how strong a three-point shooter or a perimeter team they are. To have the luxury of an All-American post player and then have the opportunity to knock in shots. Irish turn it over. Kayla Jones bursting into the front court. Now Brown Turner. Back out to Jones. Inside for Kinane. The kick out to Johnson. Too strong. Coach Ivy's team did a great job. They're doubling, scrambling out of the double, and then getting back to, the, to their man-to-man -man player. This has been a great game. Both teams playing so solid, not turning it over, not fouling a lot, just Playing hard at both ends of the floor. Mabry, the hesitation, into the paint, flips it up and in. Dara Mabry, the senior, gives Notre Dame a seven-point lead. We're accustomed to see her shooting those threes, but every once in a while she has a great advantage to take the ball inside. Wow. Kinane backs Brunel down in the paint, and Brunel is down on the floor and hurt. The basket will count for Kinane, but no whistle blew from the referee. Yeah, it looked to me that she may have caught her up high. I'm sure the, uh, the officials aren't even going to the to the monitor to just see if it's hit high. But uh, that's all the officials have to decide that. But uh, sometimes players hit the ground and do some damage as well. Fans here inside Purcell Pavilion certainly don't like the no call by the referee, <laughs> especially considering Sam Brunel is off to quite the start in this first half with eight points and two rebounds. She scored in double digits in four of Notre Dame's last six games. Yeah, I think that uh, if you look at it, may have may, she may have gotten a little bit of a a flop in that situation. You know, we're not seeing the replay of it, but uh, I think she did hit her head when she hit, came down. That floor is made out of wood, and, and it hurts. Brunel absorbed all 6-5 of Elisa Kane <laughs> and is now thankfully walking off of the court on her own support. She had a little limp, so that tells me it may not have been really a, a head injury as much of a lower body injury and ankle. Last two minutes here are going to be huge for both teams. If the Irish can keep this five to seven point spread, or if North Carolina can get this down to even a real one possession game. 
That's really the first time this half that either teams have been able to take a break. Right. It's been back and forth the entire game. Very few fouls, very few people getting the free throw line, very few turnovers. Step back three for Citron, just short. And a foul is going to be called on Elisa Kinane. Here's something Notre Dame's done a great job of all year, getting good looks out of this 1-4 low out-of-bounds play. They run a lot of different sets out of it. It'll be interesting what the Wolfpack does here. Inbound goes to Dotson, looking for Prohaska on the backdoor cut, but it wasn't there, and now Citron pulls it out. Prohaska, the feed inside for Dotson. Oh, my goodness. Off glass for oh two. Oh, my goodness. She wants the ball. You've got to feed your post people when they want the ball. She's had an incredible first half of basketball. Maya Dotson now in double figures for the game. Reina Perez's three off the mark. Olivia Miles bursting into the front court. Mabry over the top to Dotson. Can't finish, Dotson gets it back, flips it up, and it goes right into the lap of Kayla Jones. A lot of energy out here on this floor. Jones for three. Wow. Money. Big time shot right there to get this game back to four. The Irish had a chance to get two, and they gave up three. That was a big swing here in the last possession. Final minute of this first half. It's a big possession for Notre Dame. Under 10 to shoot. Now five to shoot for Olivia Miles. Working on Kai Crutchfield. Miles to the rack. No good. Rebound boy. Proaska is down on the other end. North Carolina State was going to play five on four for a moment, but Prohaska is down on the floor and writhing in pain. We'll take a look and see, you know, what exactly may have happened here. Again, she, oh, right in the eye, it looks like. Or right in the neck. Yeah, a little bit of elbow right across the face. Not, not an intentional one, but boy, game of basketball is a game that's very, very, very physical. And this game has been extremely physical. These two teams at the top of the standings in the ACC as the referees take another look at that replay to see if there was any foul play. Looked like Jada Boyd was just going up clean yeah. for the rebound. And Coach Moore describes her as a relentless rebounder, so no surprise to see Boyd in the mix for that board. Yeah, I think exactly. I think there's just two teams playing really, really hard. You know, if you look at um, the, the contact, it looked to me like it was more or less just hard basketball going to the basket. And uh, that's just part of the game. And that's exactly what the referees looked at. They didn't see anything special there at all. Yep. So it's a four point lead for the Fighting Irish with 15 seconds remaining in this first half. Prohaska is being helped up the floor. She's got a towel covering her face. It does look like maybe yeah. she did get caught in she the did. eye area. No question about it. She's going to have to uh, go back and take a look. And that's one of those things where might be a stitch or two or three. But knowing her personality, if she doesn't have a concussion, she'll be back out here for the second half. She is a fighter. So Notre Dame now down two of their most important bench players yes. with Sam Brunel and now Abby Prohaska being helped off of the floor. That's a great point. Uh, 
The bench is so important for the Irish, and that's what uh, has got them on this run, and that's why they played so well this first half. We'll see how this all pans out. Depth Here's the been second a half start. Of this Notre Dame team, coach. Yes. Ten to go in this first half. Jada Boy driving in on Citron. Citron looks like she took an elbow. Three to play in this first half. Peoples from half court. Nearly put it in off the backboard. After one half of play, Notre Dame leading third ranked North Carolina State by four. Welcome back to South Bend. We're just moments away from second half action between Notre Dame and North Carolina State. The Fighting Irish clinging on to a four point lead. Coach, we could not have asked for a better first half, neck and neck the whole way. It's been a great first half. And first of all, we need to talk about the shooting of State here, being able to pull up and take these shots. That was a concern for the Irish staff saying, you know, we, we talk about their All-American, but look at the perimeter shooting. The length in their shots, they don't have a fear in that. They step out, knock those shots down, and every one of them has been a key one in this first half. The Wolfpack are third in the nation, shooting 40% from long range yeah. as a team. Meanwhile, for Notre Dame, Maya Dotson oh. was unstoppable in the first half. She leads all scorers with 10 points. You know, things that she can do, she just goes to the offensive boards. Here's a great seal and a great left hand. Great players can use both hands, play great defense, gets a hand on that ball and allows the Irish to go. But here's something she does extremely well. Offensive, rebound, offensive, rebound. She has almost as many offensive boards as she has defensive boards. That's amazing. Dotson has six offensive rebounds in the first half yeah. alone. Eight total, well on her way to her fourth double-double in the last six games. Meanwhile, the Irish defensively have done a good job containing North Carolina State's All-American post player, Elisa Kinane, but Kayla Jones has been on the money yeah, for the Wolfpack. Yeah, really has, and if you look at this team, they can do so many, have so many different weapons, so if you contain the post, now you're gonna give up something on the perimeter, and they've taken advantage of that. I'm looking forward to the great second half. Second half underway here inside Purcell Pavilion. And immediately the Irish go inside to Dotson, who finishes the layup. West Belt, a great high-low look. That's been the Notre Dame package for years. Great seal inside, perfect, perfect pass. Dotson now nine straight games in double figures. Can't speak enough about the impact oh, that oh. her addition has been to this Notre Dame it, it's, team. It's season. incredible, not just what it shows in the stat sheet, but what it shows just with the defense, with the intensity. And it's always great as a guard to know that you got somebody behind you that can protect you on the rim. She Brown put Turner. on a clinic Working defensively. On the freshman kick out to Crutchfield. Rebounded by Citron. Miles quickly ahead to Mabry. Inside for Dotson, gets tied up for oh. a moment, but powers through the she contact has, uh, and puts in another lay-in. On a mission, she sprinted to the floor, she sealed her defender, demanded the ball, they found her, great finish inside. Game high, 14 points for Maya Dotson. Now Brown Turner, her short jumper too strong. Notre Dame ties their largest lead of the game up eight right now. Miles off balance jumper, yeah. no good. Yeah, looking right. back at Miles' shot, it was probably a little bit quick, but wow, when you're looking at steady play, just look at the options inside. Strong people are trying to fight her off and she still knocks it in. What a, what a game she's had so far. 
Johnson is shooting 54% from the floor over her last eight games. She's seven of 11 from the floor here tonight. And away from the camera, away from the ball, she is demanding the ball. If you're a post player, a coach loves a post player who says, give me the ball. I want, I have hungry hands. I want to run my hands in the ball and I want the ball. That's a big play for the Irish post. Kane now back out for North Carolina State. Just picked up her third foul. Yes. And another whistle blows. This time the foul on Kayla Jones. One of the things that Notre Dame has done a great job in this entire game has attacked inside and have really looked to get on the post. Again, Notre Dame trying to go inside for Dotson, but Citron sails the entry pass out of bounds. And kind of telegraphed it. Even if she would have caught it, it probably wouldn't have been a play inside because there was a lot of people around the post. Brown Turner, strong move yeah. inside. Great ball fake from the three. Gathered herself and took it right to the rim. Shakia Brown Turner was a unanimous first team All ACC selection a season ago. Numbers a bit down this season, but she's had double digits in three straight games. Here is Brown Turner again, going to work on the freshman. Oh my. Tried to kick it out to Jones, but Dotson stole it away. And now Miles is fouled by Perez in transition. I mean, she's doing everything so well. Scoring, rebounding, and defending. And when you have an upperclassman do that, it just sparks the rest of the team. And as a coach, you just love it when a big plays well like this. Tend to shoot for Notre Dame. Takes Dotson screen, pulls up, well off the mark, rebounded by Westveld, and she's fouled in the paint. Again, just going for the ball. If you want to rebound, go, go get it. And that's exactly what the Irish post and forwards are doing right now. They're going to the glass, they want the ball. Spell drills the first free throw. Notre Dame with 10 offensive rebounds yes. for the game. Coaches always say that a shot taken is a pass to you. Go get the rebound. Westbell now three for three from the foul line. Notre Dame's lead is back to eight. Johnson, the hesitation. Floater no good. Westbeld with a rebound. Got numbers in transition right here. Westbeld tried to kick it out to Citron. Crutchfield took it away for the moment, but Citron won it back. Yeah. Just again, a great heads up play by the freshman to get the ball back. Miles working inside, up and under. Olivia Miles. She never seems to stop amazing people when they watch her play. Irish fans are fired up right now. They're on their feet here inside Purcell Pavilion. Notre Dame with their largest lead of the game, up 10 against the Wolfpack. You can have a lot of Notre Dame out to their largest lead of the game, and Maya Dotson continues yeah. to eat inside. Great inside move there, just sailing. Watch her run the floor. Watch his young people getting position before she caught the ball. And then she just had a little duck in shot. Great defense here, getting her hands on the ball leads to a break and a foul uh, by North Carolina State. Loud in here. The numbers just jump off the page for Dotson, especially considering she's doing this against a first-team yeah, All-American all in Elisa Kinane. Johnson 
got past Miles. Miles trying to force the steal, yeah. but gets called for the reach. Didn't do a very good job of closing out on the perimeter, allowed the drive, reached from behind, and refs love to call that reach from behind foul. Reina Perez, the hesitation, can't finish. Great look, just did not finish. Oh Miles, my. pull up three. Oh. Crutchfield trying to look ahead, but taken away by Citron. Now Citron ahead for Miles, who finishes at the rim. Great hands by the freshman Citron, finding an open band. Making a great pass, an easy basket. It's a 6-0 run for Notre Dame, their largest lead of 12. But Jada Boyd quiets wow. the crowd inside Purcell Pavilion this and puts up the bucket yeah. plus the foul. There's a great look, her hands up, active, and not only just getting the ball, but then having the presence of mind to find the teammate for a layup. This is a big three-point chance opportunity for State here. They needed to stop the bleeding, stop the momentum of the Irish. Jada Boyd drills the foul shot, completes the three-point play, and the lead for Notre Dame is nine. off the Dotson screen. Finds her under the hoop. What a find by wow. Olivia Miles, and Dotson knows just what to do with it. Has incredible vision as she attacks the basket. If you're a post player, you love to play with her because if your hands are ready, you gotta get a layup. Diamond Johnson nails the pull-up jumper. Back and forth yes. we go in this third quarter, uh -huh. and a good sign for Notre Dame. Sam Brunel at the scorer's table, looking to check back in. Notre Dame needs her to come back with the same energy she has brought in the first half. Westbell inside for Citron. Can't get it to go. Now Crutchfield the other way. Guy Crushfield's been quiet since nailing those first two quarter, those two first quarter threes. And now Camille Hobby drains wow. the short jumper. Just a really good square up. Read the defense. The defense backed up. Had a nice look shot. Our name looks again confused a little bit in the high-low look. Westbeld dribbles it off of her leg. The lead for Notre Dame is seven. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to South Bend, where Notre Dame currently holds a seven-point lead over third-ranked North Carolina State, and the Wolfpack are having quite the season, 19-2 overall. 10-0 in conference, yes. unbeaten on the road, yes. and coach, they have five wins against ranked opponents, including three wins against top 10 opponents. Well, Wes Moore is one of the best in the business at any level. He's won everywhere he's at. His teams play with composure. They have tremendous character, and uh, this is going to go down to a wire because it's a proven winning program with a winning culture. It's going to be a great third quarter and a new fourth quarter to watch. Wolfpack currently a projected one seed in the NCAA tournament. Diamond Johnson gets open from deep. Can't hit. And a foul is called on Camille Hobby fighting for the rebound with Dotson. Another stat on North Carolina State that just jumps off the page, Coach. Dating back to week three of last season, the Wolfpack have been ranked fifth or better in all 27 AP polls. You know, that's a sign of just not a great program. That's an excellent program. And playing in the ACC, 
where you know everybody, especially when you're talking about on the road, they're undefeated. That's amazing. And they're in search of their 19th straight win against ACC opponents. This Wolfpack team has won back-to-back -back ACC tournament championships as Dotson's floater goes off the rim and Citron is going to get called for the reach in on Jada Boyd. Wow. Did not see that, but again, uh, a great offensive rebound. These three minutes here before the end of this quarter are going to be huge for really both teams. Reina Perez has oh been quiet goodness. all game long, but fights through the contact yes. and gets the floater to go. Just turn the corner hard, hit the floater. Sam Brunel back in the game. Oh, yeah. Pull up jumper, gets fouled, and she's going to go to the foul line. I love that play. It just sets up her game so well. It's a post screen. She can step back. She can shoot the three from it, or she's got that 16 footer. It really fits her game. If they rush out, then she can drive by them. Brunel nails the first foul shot. Seems like she's getting a little more lift on her shot, and it just looks a lot better. And Sam Brunel now has scored double-digit points in five of her last seven games played. Playing with a lot of confidence. That's Johnson loses Mabry and drills the long two. Wow. One strong, great perimeter player. Keep in mind, this North Carolina State team was down 14 points heading into the fourth quarter against Louisville and went on to win that game. Wolfpack certainly not out of this one. Oh, no. No, they're going to continue the battle and play hard. Dotson's jumper is all air, but Anaya Peoples with another offensive rebound for Notre Dame. You know, yes, being able to break the defense down, watch this, quick crossover, set, boom. That's, that's, that's perfect. That's a perfect, yes, yeah, she happened to be on the line, but, uh, wow. Notre Dame has taken advantage of two air balls that you don't think about very much, but wow, they've been huge of finding the ball and knocking those in. It's a six-point lead yeah. for Notre Dame. Yeah. That was a long two by Diamond Johnson when she left Mabry in the dust. Yeah. North Carolina State have made five of their last seven field goals. As Peoples knocks down the first foul shot. Meanwhile, Notre Dame has gone without a field goal in the last three minutes of game time. Right, but they've been able to get to the free throw line. And, you know, that helps him get to that free throw line and knock in those shots. Has kept that space of five, seven, and now eight point spread. Peoples goes two for two from the stripe, and the lead for Notre Dame is back at eight. Bobby working inside on Dotson. Can't get it into her. Johnson, another pull up. Rebounded by Miles. Wow. Hit the deck. Got it off to Dotson. And now the Irish will settle it. Bodies flying everywhere. Now a foul called on Jada Boyd. Really everything you could have asked for in a top 25 showdown. Yes. Both teams throwing punches and coming back at one another. Now here's the situation with 123 left. You look at that, Coach Moore has a lot of confidence to put these two players back. He does not want to get this game, you know, double fit, figure leaves, so he's just going to say, hey, we've got to come back, make sure these veterans know that they can't pick up that fourth foul here before the end of the quarter. Kanane and Jones back into the game, both with three fouls as Dotson hits the second of two foul shots.
Going inside. Missed it. Penane clears out Dotson, opens the lane for Johnson, who rims out of a floater. NC State has had a lot of easy looks that just haven't fallen. Citron working on Crutchfield. Back inside for Dotson, goes right at Kinane. Mark decision. Nearly turns it over, but Peoples goes up and under for the finish. Huge bucket. Huge bucket attacking the baseline. It's back to a double-digit lead for Notre Dame, and the fans are on their feet in Purcell. Johnson rims out of a three. Offensive board for Kinane, and Dotson gets called for the push. This is just amazing how hard both teams are playing. I mean, every possession, everybody's given their best effort. It is fun to watch these two ranked teams go after one another. Now three fouls on both Dotson yes. and Kinane. Huge. Huge. Who will get their fourth foul first? Peoples pressuring Johnson, under 10 to shoot for the Wolfpack. Johnson, the kick out to Jones, wide open for three. No good, rebounded by Kinane, and another foul called. This time, it's on Olivia Miles. She's come back in the game here. It isn't amazing that her presence has been felt immediately. Offensive rebounds. Kinane one for one from the foul line thus far. She is an excellent foul shooter, shooting 85% so far this season. And knocks down the first. Yeah, that one didn't hit the rim. That was nothing but net. Great possession here. We'll see what the Irish have for the last seven seconds. Kinane hits both. Five seconds left in his third quarter. Miles trying to push the pace ahead to Peoples, but yeah. pass got away from her, and the ball's going back to the Wolfpack. Got to get turned around here and ready to defend. The time winds down. Three quarters gone by here in South Bend. Notre Dame leading North Carolina State by nine. Anaya Peoples up and under. Adding to this lead. It has all come down uh, to this. Yeah. Fourth quarter action upcoming between Notre Dame and North Carolina State. And some of the key players in this contest dealing with some foul trouble. Yes, you look at that. Who's going to pick up the fourth foul? That's such a key for both these teams. Knowing that both individuals on the floor with those three fouls are critical to the success of, the, of this game. You know both teams have talked about it also during that break. You've got to get the ball inside and attack each other inside. Here we go. And right inside they go. Kinane is on the floor. Dotson rips it away from her. What'd they call? And I believe Kinane is going to be called for a foul here, which would be her fourth. Let's see. Yes, indeed. Elisa Kinane just picked up her fourth foul of the wow. evening. And head coach Wes Moore yes. is beside himself. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody get a call, get called for a foul while they're laying down with the ball. You know, it's not like diving on people. That one could be a game changer. We will see. So Kinane goes back to the bench where she spent a good majority of this game. Citron kicks it out to Peoples. Peoples drives inside, puts up a short jumper. Brown Turner comes down with the rebound. This is a proud program, and though even though they've lost a key player for a while, 
They're not going to flinch. Crushfield kicks out to Johnson, drives inside, stops, pops, can't hit. Great contest on the defensive end. Every possession here is a key in this fourth quarter. Will the Irish go inside here? Peoples. Now Miles driving baseline. Draws the foul on Diamond Johnson. And all game long, Notre Dame has been doing a yeah. really good job of drawing fouls on the Wolfpack. Absolutely. And keeping them off balance. And, you know, just for being able to, the presence of mind as the shot clock's going down to get to the rim and draw a foul is huge. One on one in the post. Westbound working on Jones. Lays it in off the glass. Many weapons for this young Irish team. You're seeing it right here as they grow up right in front of our eyes. Notre Dame, one of two power five schools with five players averaging double digits. And the Irish get a big takeaway. It's back to a double digit lead for Notre Dame. Going back to high low look. Citron calls for the Dotson screen. Doesn't go with it. Now has to put up a three. Hobby pulls down the rebound. Now Johnson bursting into the wow. front court and laying in the reverse layup. Another gear. Absolutely another gear. Mabry for three. Oh my. Yes. Wow. Huge shot in transition three. The veteran senior comes through. She's been quiet all game long, but Mabry, when the <laughs> Irish need a bucket, yeah. puts up a three as we take another look oh at this goodness. sweet move and finish by Diamond Johnson. As a point guard, one thing you tell your players all the time, do you have another gear? Well, she put it into third gear there and got a layup. Jakia Brown-Turner backing down Citron. Nowhere to go. Johnson working on Peoples. Drives wow. the rim. Denied by Dotson. Looks like they got a foul underneath. I am shocked by that. I did not see it, but uh, looks like she came in low and bumped her. Two shots. The foul was not called on Maya Dotson. Yeah. She still has three, but it was called on Anaya Peoples, who bumped Diamond Johnson with the body. Johnson will go to the foul line for two. Keep in mind, North Carolina State, yes. as I mentioned earlier, came back from down 14 points in the fourth quarter yes. to take down a top five yes. Louisville team. And Diamond Johnson had 14 fourth quarter points yeah. in that game. You could just see there's no panic in State's eyes at all. Their players are composed. They have a lot of confidence. They've been in this position before. How will the Irish handle a 10 point lead against a top team? Especially considering holding on to leads is something the Irish have struggled with dating back to last season. Young team struggle. Mabry wide open for three. And the ball will go back to North Carolina State. This is a critical time for a young Notre Dame team to be able to compose themselves, stay focused on what they've done the whole game, and not get frustrated, just continue to play hard defensively. Dotson loses spell and drains the three. Oh, what a move yes. by Diamond Johnson. She is a player. Timeout called by Notre Dame. Diamond Johnson willing this North Carolina State 
back into the game. It's a seven point lead for Notre Dame. Stay with us. Under seven minutes to go in this fourth quarter and Diamond Johnson has been on a tear bringing this Wolfback team back into it. And she knows she's done it before and so she's just been able to say, hey, I'm going to take this game on my shoulders right here. I'm going to find a way to knock in perimeter shots and she's done it both from the three and to the rim. Johnson has the last seven points for North Carolina State. Miles working on Johnson. Wow. Off glass yes. right over yes. the sophomore. And the touch it takes to hit that shot. The soft touch it takes. Johnson puts up another three. No good. Oh, got down, got a layup. Kanane is back in the game for the Wolfpack, playing with four fouls. Mabry, kick out to Brunel. Great look. Both teams are playing with a lot of composure right now. They want to get the ball inside. Kanane working on Brunel, spinning and winning. Yeah, that's a mismatch up, and she knew it. And so she fakes to her right, goes right over that left shoulder, knocks the shot, now she's going to the line. Look at, nice, keeping the ball up, drawing the foul, and finishing. It's one thing just to draw the foul, but being able to get the ball up on the glass, giving us a chance to get the three-point play, especially when someone's shooting 85% from the line. Drills the foul shot, now 16th game this yeah. year that Elisa Kinane has had double figures. She's played under 20 minutes, but has 10 points and six boards as Mabry gets open for three in the corner, can't hit, but Dotson wow. cleans up the offensive rebound. Huge offensive rebound. Johnson, the hesitation. Trying to find Kanane inside. Numbers for Notre Dame. Miles to Mabry for the finish. Wow. A great transition basket there. Great transition. It's a 10 point lead for Notre Dame. And coach, I can barely yes. hear you through my headset. I know it is so loud in here. Fourth foul. Dotson and Kanane continue to battle, and yes, indeed, Dotson will be called for her fourth foul as we take another look at this transition. Yeah, mark this is by a Notre great Dame. drive. Just finding an open player. Little duck under, high kiss off the glass. Great job. Okay. Now we've got to see what happens here. Dotson goes to the bench. Yes. Five minutes left. Brown Turner blows by Citron. Yes. And you don't have a rim protector. Not only is she a great scorer, but she's also protected a lot of drives to the basket. Great now North trap. Carolina State trapping at half court. Brunel catches, turns, shoots. Yeah. North Carolina State back the other way. Kayla Jones in transition. The dish to Crutchfield. Can't finish. Two on one. Citron running the other way. The freshman with the left hand uh. can't get it to go. Now Johnson speeding past everyone. Flips it wow. up and in. Notre Dame had a great opportunity there. Two on one. You want to see the ball given up there that didn't happen. That was a swing of four points. Two that you did get. Two that you did give up. Johnson had 14 points in the fourth quarter comeback win over Louisville. She's got nine here yeah. this evening, but Olivia yeah. Miles gets free and finishes at the rim. Yeah, uh, get, the, get the ball, your point guard. Let her make a play. Johnson pull up three, well short. Got to be able to rebound in this situation. Brown Turner working on Citron, gets bumped and won. Great take with the left hand. Both teams making great, great plays. 
being able to drive here and then get the ball high off the glass with the left hand and knock it in. Tremendous shot. What a game yeah, we have State, here. Florida State is not going, they are not going to flinch. They've been here before. There's a lot of composure out here on the floor. 11 points for Jakia Brown-Turner. She's now hit double digits in four straight games. Coach Ivy's got to make a decision here. How long will she go without Dodson in the game? Under four minutes ago, Notre Dame holding on to a five-point lead in search of their first top five win since the 2018-2019 season. Get the ball to your point guard, execute a half-court set. Run a lot of time off the clock here. Under 10 to shoot for Miles. Kick out to Brunel. Inside for Westbelt. Kunane fell down. Now Westbelt puts it up with the left hand. Well off the mark. Not a very good half-court set there. It took way too long to get into it. Got to get Dotson in this game. Crutchfield to the rim. Probably need a timeout here, get Dotson back in, get things settled down. It's a one possession game. One possession game. North Carolina State have made five of their last seven shots. And a 10 second violation is going to be called on Notre Dame, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And that is a massive turnover yeah. by the Fighting here. Irish. Who's going to be composed? Who's going to handle things here with 2.40 left? Who's going to stay focused when things aren't going well? It's a big, big moment. Every possession is a key. Dotson back in the game for Notre Dame. Crutchfield, who they call Crutchfield in Raleigh. Her pull-up jumper is no good. Miles and Boyd fighting for the rebound. Jump ball, possession, Notre Dame. Notre Dame has struggled here the last four or five minutes getting to the offensive glass, getting, keeping North Carolina State off the offensive glass. That was a great rip away, and this is a key possession. Notre Dame gets it over half court. Wolfpack adding full court pressure. Got to be aggressive in the half court. Cannot let the shot clock get down to five or six. You got to make plays early. Miles driving in, dishing to Peoples. Turnover. Oh, wow. And now Jada Boyd travels with it, but it looks like the Wolfpack will uh -huh. get out and have numbers. They had a layup there, just finishing there. Composer City right now. Who's the team that's not going to find a way to give up this game? but win it by just executing at the half court. Notre Dame has led by as many as 12 in this contest. The lead now is just three with under two minutes to play. Still, you've got to be very aggressive offensively. Miles off the Dotson screen, quick pull up. Missed everything. Rebounded by Boyd. Dished it to Johnson, and Dara Mabry is going to get called for the foul well away from the basket. Yeah, you don't want to foul 94 feet away from the basket and give the opponent free, free throws. You know, those are just things that demands focus and concentration. Diamond Johnson is two for two from the line tonight. She was 11 of 14 coming into the game. Make it three for three. Yeah, this team had no quit in them. You could sense it with five minutes to go that they felt they're in this game. We've been here before. They're showing their maturity. North Carolina State is on a 6-0 run over the last two minutes of game time. And Notre Dame has not had a bucket over that stretch. Who will respond for the Irish? Diamond Johnson, another double-digit fourth quarter performance for the sophomore guard from Philadelphia. And Jakia Brown-Turner is going to get called for the reach-in on Citron. But, you know, if you're looking to state, hey, you got fouls to give. Just get after it. Keep really pressuring the wings, create a turnover. 
That's exactly what they did. Citron drives baseline, gets free, misses a layup. Rebound Westbell, right, and good. Citron is fouled under the hoop. Wow, what an exchange there, but again, just getting a loose ball, having a, the ability, Westbell, to get to the offensive glass, get a ball, and then make a pass. Set try and get the opportunity to get to the free throw line. Notre Dame with 13 offensive rebounds this evening, and Sonia Citron is the best foul shooter on this Notre Dame team. Knocks down the first. That's a pressure free throw for the freshman. Ice in her veins, drills both foul shots. There we go. Four point lead for Notre Dame. A minute to play here in South Bend, and Johnson pulls up from three. Yeah. Quick Citron shot. pulls down the rebound. Got to get in your point guard's hands and run the offense here. Look for traps. Johnson had the takeaway, but uh -huh. gets called for the reach in foul on Olivia Miles, who's going to go to the foul line. Yeah, you've got to be really clean with the basketball. I don't know if the Irish really caught a break right there because it looked to me like it was going to be a steal. That could have called to the one either way. Back to the line. Olivia Miles just 5 of 16 from the field tonight, but drills the first foul shot, and that was a big one. Sure it was. Freshman point guard. How about the freshman for Notre Dame? Yeah. Citron back-to-back -back free throw makes, and Miles comes back with two free throws of her own. The lead for Notre Dame is six. Again, you look at this situation, what do you do now as a coach? I think you got plenty of time to go inside and get a two. It does not have to be a three here. You're down six points, that's two possessions. You just need to get a really good shot. If you're Notre Dame, it's very important right now as a coach staff to say, hey, we have got to make sure we contest the shots, but we've got to screen out. That is a huge part of this possession if you're Notre Dame. You've got to obtain that off that defensive rebound here if there's a miss. And we talked about it in the open, Coach, but North Carolina State, a very veteran oh, squad. Yeah. Notre Dame quite youthful. Yeah. We'll see how much of a factor that plays in this final minute. Well, we've seen the two freshmen come up with two sets of two free throws. They've been huge. Now can they defend at this end of the floor? The fans are on their feet inside Purcell Pavilion. Final minute here in South Bend of this top 25 matchup. Brown Turner, kick out to Crutchfield, open three. Rebounded. Rebounded, Kunane gets fouled yes. and puts it in. That's a big concern if you're a coach. You say, you know, we can defend, do all those things, but you've got to clean it up with a screen out. And that's the worst thing that could happen. Not only giving up an offensive rebound, but giving up a bucket and a three-point possible play here on that rebound. Alisa Kunain wow. dealing with foul trouble all game long, but coming up big when her team needs it the most. Back. Four for four from the foul line tonight. Make it five of five. And here we are, back at a one possession game. Just a great decision. There were so many good things that happened offensively for State in that situation where they drove, made a great kick, had a great look at a three. Got an offensive rebound, put back score, and a free throw. North Carolina State likely going to pressure Notre Dame with full court press, coach. Yep. But when they do get into the half court set, who do you think the Irish should go to offensively? Well, I think they're going to go to the pick and roll as much as possible. You've got to keep the ball with Miles. I mean, that that is just an obvious thing. I think that they might even trap Miles. The problem that you have with Dotson, if she gets the ball, she's so good inside, but she also is not a great free throw shooter. And so you want to get the ball in the hands of your best free throw shooters under a minute to go in the game. North Carolina State does not have to foul here. 
they can play this out, and I'm sure they probably will. Huge possession for both teams. Four upperclassmen on the court for North Carolina State. Three underclassmen on the court for Notre Dame. Final 30 seconds of this game. It looks like they're going to go with a double screen here for the freshman. Citron. Gotta Bobbles get, the entry pass. Got to give him a look. Puts up the floater, misses everything. Might want to think about finding the three-point line here. Ten seconds to go. Johnson. Jakea Brown-Turner back to Johnson for three. No good. Gotta Rebound, Crutchfield. Back to Johnson for three. Off the mark. Oh. Notre Dame wins it. They take down number three, North Carolina State, and hand the Wolfpack their first loss in wow. conference play. What a great game. Both teams played well. Punch plays by both sides. Wow. This game was great from the beginning to the end. Fantastic. For our director, Ryan DiStefano, our producer, Doug Thompson, and my wonderful partner, Coach Mike Lightfoot, I'm Grant Delvecchio saying so long from South Bend. Notre Dame take down the Wolfpack 69-66. to 66. Have a wonderful evening.